Hello everyone, my name is Rosalind Streeter. I am a seer and prophet of God to the nation. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening. But welcome to the journey of vision where you will soon learn that it's just so much easier with God. So let's chat. All right, guys, again, I am back with another prophetic dream slash vision. Um, so I want to definitely just go ahead and go over the vision and dream with you. Um, that way you kind of understand where I'm coming from and then we'll talk a little bit more as far as what I have in my notes as well as a couple of scriptures okay all right so God showed me we are covered and this was related to aliens you guys yes aliens by the way I have never had a dream or a vision related to aliens <laughs> I've, you know you watch a movie right but not something like this so I definitely want to get it out and share it only because it really needs to um, it's meant to calm you it's meant to help you understand where God sits with all of this as well as um, that he's telling you like have no fear you know like have no fear because I have you you're covered okay all right so if you're still here <laughs> I'm gonna go over the dream all right, so I remember I was like in this house, right? And it seemed like I was maybe, um, I don't know, like washing dishes or something, but there was this window where you, I could see out and it, it was actually at night. And so I saw someone with a balloon and the balloon had a symbol on it. And the symbol, Sorry, I should have drew it out. Hold on. You know I have to give you a visual, so. So, hopefully you can see this. So, this is actually, um, there was a person standing outside, right? It was dark outside and he had, or he or she, I'm not sure who, but um, this person had a balloon and in the balloon, it had this symbol right here. Okay. So they were standing there. All right. So then it was like, there was people also outside and they were watching, um, like they were looking up and they were just watching what they were seeing was stars so they were seeing something in the sky and it looked like stars to them right and so they were just watching it watching it right so then as they was watching the stars um the same symbol started coming like what they thought was stars it actually turned into the symbol that was in this balloon right so it start they um it was like different ones and they started to come down from the sky right so it started coming down and they just started getting closer and closer and closer to the ground the people are still there looking like what you know like what's going on so I'm, and I'm watching this again I'm in the house I'm and there's a glass um window and I'm sitting there in my kitchen or in the kitchen and I'm looking out at what what's going on okay so as soon as um, they came closer and closer to the ground, once they hit the ground, you could tell it was some form of like an alien, right? Just the way it, it literally was walking on like these type of legs and um, it was crazy. It was like they had uh, lasers and everything. All right, so I'm still watching this. At this point, when they come to the ground, right, I start, I get very quiet and still, but I'm still like looking, trying to figure out like what's going on. And so I'm, I'm looking through this window and as I'm trying to just stay still, um, I noticed that the aliens, again, they had lasers and they were like um, pointing the lasers at people, right? And it was multiple. And I just remember there were, um, there was like a really big alien in the middle. 
and there were smaller aliens i'm sorry <laughs> there were smaller aliens that surrounded them and all of them again they had lasers right and they were using it on the people outside so um again as i was looking through the window um i was trying to be quiet but i don't know how a part of the window made like this noise as though like it cracked or something i don't know um it didn't break but i it made a noise that allowed like the biggest alien to uh capture that noise and it looked like right at me <laughs> and so now i'm like oh my god like what's going on right and so i try to be still because i was like well if i be still maybe the, you know they don't see me <laughs> So then it started to come towards the house I was in, okay? And also the house that I was in, there was actually other people in the home with me. And so the windows didn't have any curtains. It was like um, we had, or I had front row seats to what was happening, right? At that moment. Came towards the house, right? And then all of a sudden it ended up coming inside our the home. So I'm like being still, right? And I'm like, the world you know like it's in the home now so it starts to walk around the home and i remember it went downstairs it was like looking for something right like i don't know like an i don't know what it was doing like an inspection or whatever the case may be and it was like just walking around the home um and as it, it went down you know it went downstairs came back up and it ended up leaving and it did not touch none of us. It didn't touch nothing in the home. It didn't touch nothing, um, you know, no one. And it was like everything checked out and they had no reason to be there. Um, that's how it seemed to me. Um, and then they end up leaving, right? And so, crazy, I know. All right, so, um, in my notes, I put, God wants uh, wants to make us aware that, yes, do not find it strange when you see and hear uncommon things in this season, in this year, you guys. He wants you in front. He, he wants you in the front row so that you already know what's coming so it doesn't create this fear over you, right? Like this unnatural um, fear that can be debil debilitating or make you feel like you need to you know close all your blinds and shut down and everything else go with it no he's not doing that for this reason he just wants you to know hey this is what you will see or hear right um remember psalm 91 we're going to see certain things right but it will not come near us right so it can't touch us which is why they didn't touch us right they didn't mess with us um he wants you in the front row so you are spiritually and mentally prepared you guys it is so important and this is why i'm launching um god you know placed it on me to launch the journey of words it is in it's so important that we even me you don't understand like me like <laughs> that we take care of our mental right mental health because if how can i say it you're going to see so much, right? And you'll be, um, if you're not mentally strengthened, if you're not spiritually strengthened, where, you know, the word is in you, where you can, you know, the Holy Spirit can give you a word to comfort you in certain situations that you see. Um, because when you think about it, you know, if you're your family, you know, if you, your family can be affected because maybe someone's choosing not to serve God. Maybe someone's choosing, Hey, I don't need that. You know, maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's their choice. But unfortunately there's a harvest for God's people and you know, the kingdom of God. And there's a harvest for the ones who don't care for him. Okay. And again, we're going to see it. So. The reason why I'm just, I'm very, um, it's very important to me when it comes to words because I can say to you, you're going to be fine and you'll get a, a settle in your spirit. You know, and I can give you a word and you will feel um, comforted, right? And 
with that word, um, someone else could also give you a word or you can hear words that draws fear to you. Right. It makes you uncomfortable. It makes you worry. It makes you anxious. It makes you depressed. It makes you things that are not of God. OK. And so that's why uh, with the journey of words, I really want you guys to be able to uh, be strengthened in his words and know that the I am that I am is going to be there for us. No matter what it is, but don't think it's strange when you see uncommon things, you guys. Okay, so there was people outside the house. I noticed that, right? And then you have the people in the home. This is very important. The attack from the aliens, right? Mike, thank you, Lord. Sometimes when I give a um, video, God will give me revelation while I'm giving the video. But I just thought about it. My God, you guys, there was people outside the home, right? And they were looking up to the wrong God like their focus was on these stars right that was that was their focus whereas the people in the home our focus was God like we were already in the house we were already dwelling in him under the secret place of him hidden my God which is why they could not see us you guys Y'all don't understand. That is so good to me. It is so good to me that we do not have to fear, that we do not have to worry, that we do, even in troubled times, we do not have, oh my God. Lord, you are so good. <laughs> Y'all, we, we are covered and the enemy will make you think otherwise, but you tell him he's a lie. Okay? Like he's a lie. We are covered. We are covered in a way that is beautiful and peaceful. Oof. Sorry, I had to take a breath on that. Like, oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> so the attack happened to the people outside the home, not inside the home. The attack happened to the people whose eyes were not on God, who were not focused on God. My God. You guys, we're talking about people who are covered with God's protection and people who are not covered. That's the difference here. And that's what you're going to see. People who are covered and people who are not covered. Oh my God. And I also love how God, he'll give me visions and dreams. And it's not even just about, you know, like the wicked or... You know, it's, it's like he will help you if it's something that could potentially cause fear. He'll help you understand where, where you sit within that. Because when we hear about aliens, right, it's not common for an alien to just be walking around. No. No, it's not. Even in this day right now, you, you hear about more about UFOs, right? You hear more about this stuff. So don't find it uncommon. You have front row seats. God is already making you aware of. So don't fear. He said you're covered. He said you're covered. Rosalind, well, what do we do? You know, what What do we do? Stay in the secret place. Well, Rosalind, how do we stay in the secret place? How do we dwell with him? I'm so happy you asked me that, you guys. <laughs> Get into your word. Pray. Fast more. That's it. Once you get into your word, it opens you up to God. And, you know, the Holy Spirit already dwells in you, right? He, you know, he's there to comfort you. Um, God already, in Psalm 91, he already commanded angels to protect you. So you're surrounded by angels. Okay. You got angels that will come and protect you. Okay, you have angels that will come and protect you. You're, you're hiding in the secret place of God, you know, where he'll take care of you, where even though you will see this stuff, it's not going to, it's not going to um, come near you. 
Okay. So just stay with him. That's that's the way to do it. Where he's instructing you. Because if you wasn't with him, I promise you would never run across my video. You you would have no reason to run across my video. Because God has given instruction to his people. And it's very detailed. Um, there's a lot of stuff that God is having me release that is so detailed down to time. So. Um, I want you to also, you guys, meditate on Psalms 91. I promise you, that's, uh, that scripture is so, po it's just poetic and it's romantic. It's romantic the way God speaks to us. And even I, um, with my the journey of love notes when God <laughs> beat me to it and he gave me a love note he gave me Psalms 91 with with presents beautiful you can watch that video if you would like um, but it because it's, it's just so important and the first two verses are very extremely important because in order for you to dwell in a secret place you have to build a relationship with God and how do you do that just like you would do with anyone else you speak with God you talk to him you you read, you know, you read about him. You understand who he is and his character and, and who is the Holy Spirit, you know, and why did Jesus come and die for our sins and, and you know, and understand that we are already covered. So um, that's definitely a good place to start, I would say. Psalms 91. I'll start on that. Um, also, Hebrews 11, 1 and 3. Well, actually, let me just say this. Psalms 91, I just want to read number one and two. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust with great confidence and on whom I will rely. Okay. So those two verses alone. That is. It's like a condition. He's saying. Hey. The one that dwells in the shelter. Of the most high. The one that seeks me. The kingdom of God. Right. The one that seeks the kingdom of God first. Gets into your word, talks to me daily, prays to me, you know. He hears your prayers. Um, I also want you to reference Hebrews 11, 1 and 3 uh, when it comes to aliens and, and what God allowed me to see. If I believe this is going to open up your eyes a little bit more, and I really encourage you, don't take my word for it. Go and read Hebrews 11, 1, verse 3. By faith, that is, with inherent trust and enduring confidence in the power, wisdom, and goodness of God. We understand that the worlds, plural, worlds, universe ages were framed and created formed put in order and equipped for their intended purpose by the word of god so that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible so when i said the part where it says we under we okay We understand that the world's universe ages were framed and created, formed, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose by the word of God. So I just want you to reference Hebrews 11, 1 and 3, read it yourself, because I just don't want you to think we're the only ones here <laughs> like it's uncommon for us just to be the only ones right when we understand that the worlds 
okay worlds so i want you to read it for yourself you know definitely take it to god but if we understand the worlds not the world right not not just the world but the worlds were, were created and put in order for their intended purpose think about it Just something to think about um, and I please I really want you to think on this too just because you can't see it does not mean it's not there just because you cannot see it does not mean it's not coming and what I mean by that you guys have been many times I remember going to Food Lion and I saw this lady and uh, she, it was something off about her I was discerning something with all you know just talking to God about it I was just why she looked more so like a zombie to me like she was just like focused and and I was like what in the world and then God I heard um God say a witch and I said oh okay got it um but how many <laughs> how many times have you went into a grocery store or have you entertained a witch when you know you have some people who don't even believe in it but yet it's in the bible so anyway, sorry. I just want I just don't want you guys to be naive to what this is. And I don't want you to think um, this is strange. Um, if God gave me this type of dream, let me just say this to release to you. I can only imagine what other dreams I will have uh, or visions that God wants me to, you know, release to you. Um, so. Anyway, I'm telling you all of this just so you're aware, um, but you're also more importantly or most importantly, you are aware that you're covered. And I just, I thank God for covering us. I thank God for not turning his back on us. I thank God for never leaving us nor forsaking us, you guys. So that is all you know for now and if you're enjoying what you see uh it definitely gets deeper from here <laughs> i will say these videos um or these prophetic messages that god is having me release this go around they are so detailed uh, i felt every bit of them like to a point where it was like i i was i was there or something i don't know it's like i felt it and um I don't know just stay tuned let me just say it's a lot um but it's good because again we're covered and i'm excited about a lot of stuff that he also wants me to release um that is really going to make you feel really good so all right guys so again if you're interested please subscribe you know like comment share um I will be posting more and I will definitely see you soon. So remember, I am so in love with love. God is truly love. Uh, he really loves us and the way he loves us ugh, with his protection is even. <sighs> it just melts my heart. Let me just say that. <laughs> so we definitely love you and I will see you soon again. Bye.